Okay, so uh, I'm going to try my hand at a little bit more uh, color sanding. And I think what I'm gonna actually going to do is I'm going to try something new. I'm going to do the dash here because that would be something easy to repaint if I screw up the top of it. Um, you know, like I'd only have to do the top edge because there's a pad that goes along the top so you'd never have to worry about masking. You know, obviously just mask this part off and it'd be no big deal. But uh, what I'm going to do is... Uh, First off, I traded in the uh, Meguiar's medium stuff for this uh, Napa branded one. We'll see how well that works. It's thicker than the other stuff was that, that I didn't like. I went to go and uh, Napa to go and get some of these tri uh, Zact discs that uh, Messy Laura recommended, and uh, they were really expensive from there. Like it was like it was some ridiculous number, like ten bucks a disc or something like that. Um, I don't know what he was looking at, but uh, it seemed unreasonable to me because I saw uh, on eBay uh, packs of 10 and 20 for, for like 15, 20 bucks or something like that. So maybe he was looking at a package price or something like that, but he thought it was singles. In any case, I, I didn't worry about that from them. I'm going to try something different. I've got a little uh, uh, palm sander, and I'm just going to put some of the uh, 2000 grit in it, and I'm going to try that wet. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Now it's a wet and dry paper, so it is good for that. And uh, see how that goes to clean up that dash. And if it doesn't work well, like I just said, I can I can always just uh, redo the top of the dash. So anyways, I'm going to get to it. Okay, so here's what I'm going to make a mess with today. Um, 2000 in it. And I made an interface pad with the, by cutting up a couple of these uh, soft foam sanding blocks. So... It's got lots of compliance in it. The original uh, one uh, was pretty hard. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so I've uh, wet sanded with uh, 2000 the uh, dash. It looks okay. Uh, I keep saying that all the time, but um, there's still orange peel in it. I didn't want to go too far. It's really hard to get in there with the sander. I did end up using the uh, little block for a lot of the stuff tied in. I'm not going to worry too much about the stuff down here because anything up to about here is covered up by the... Uh, uh, windshield gasket anyways. Well, you're not going to see it easily. Um, what shall I say? Um, I'm just going to try a quick uh, first stage buff on it here and see how that goes. Um, we'll go from there. Oh, I'll show you how fast I had. I did did work out the kinks on the uh, little jitterbug sander here. Or palm sander, whatever you want to call it. Let me call it a jitterbug. Orbital jitterbug sander. Uh, <laughs> That's about, that's about how fast I had it going. So uh, it's going very, you know, comparatively slow, about as slow as that thing will run. So anyways, I'm going to do a quick polish on the dash and uh, see how that turns out. Okay, so uh, finished polishing the dash, all three stages. Uh, I like the uh, medium rubbing compound from um, Napa there. That seemed to, that was a better replacement to that uh, Meguiar's medium. This is uh, a lot more pasty and uh, wasn't as big a sloppy mess. Um, looks pretty good. You know, like now I can see a bunch of dents in this stupid, uh, you know, top of the dash there. But uh, it uh, worked out well. It sanded fast. You know, like I finished doing that in one evening. Um, so I guess tomorrow... I suppose what I'll do tomorrow is I'll do that top above the uh, rear window and uh, and see how that goes. That should go a lot easier than the dash is. It's no more surface area and it's all accessible easily. So I might even do the pillars as well. We'll see how it goes. But the uh, jitterbug sander with uh, 2000 grit seemed to work well. And, uh, and, uh, and that lasted the whole time, although it's starting to tear at the edges where it kept catching that pinch weld at the... Uh, a uh, window frame there, but uh, that's not its fault. That's my fault. Anyways, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.